Here we are. Now let me sit you down here on my bed. Wait here, I'll... I'll find you some proper clothing. While I admit that, I have dreamt quite often as of late of having you in my room. It wasn't like this. It wasn't meant to be perfect. It was meant to be right. I'll return shortly with some clothes. No? Stay. I promise you I won't be long. Ah. Uh, all right. If you insist. The blankets do look good on you, yes. Well. Here we are. You're ready to tell me your secret. Very well. Have at it. I'm... I'm at, at a loss for words, so... What say you give some of them a try? Ah. Uh, you, you what? You... That old widow? But she only has two daughters. Everyone knows her husband and her stepdaughter died in that tragic accident. Which... As sorrowful as it was, might have been a welcome escape from that frigid woman. There isn't a lord alive who hasn't experienced firsthand just how she got <sighs> such a deplorable reputation. But no, if if you're her stepdaughter, then you're rightful heir to your father's estate, not her. But that would make you ah. Uh... I... I see. But that doesn't explain how you came to be here. If she indeed kept you as a maid, then how did you come across such... fineries? A... A witch? A oh! <laughs> a fairy. Well, I... I'd say that was all a bit much to accept, but I saw firsthand as your clothing disappeared, and beyond that, why would you lie to me? Stranger things have happened. But wait, so why do all this? Why risk her wrath? Why spin these lies? Why come to these balls? I... Oh... For... For me? I... Oh... I... I see. My secret. My secret. After, after all of that, you still wish to hear mine. Well, I... Suppose you've earned it. And... How can I deny the wish of a woman laying naked in my blankets? All right. In retrospect, my secret isn't quite as elaborate or cunning, nor as thrilling or shocking. In fact, if you've been watching my eyes and reading between the lines of my words, I'm sure you must already know. My secret is that I'm in love with you. I teased myself with the idea after the first night, toyed with it the second, fought with it the third, and came to accept it on the fourth. And ever since then, I've found myself madly, wholly, and helplessly in love with you. But you must know that, right? You must feel it in your depths as I do, resonating ceaselessly since the moment we met. Do I love you because you are beautiful? Or are you beautiful because I love you? I do not know. But I do know that fate has brought you back to me for a reason. You, you, you don't have to go back, you know. The clock has struck midnight, but you're still here. Surely that has to mean something. 
you can leave that life behind. No more scullery and cinder sweeping. Instead, you'll have opulence and wealth. Every extravagance you could want, every delicacy you could crave, every possible pleasure you could ever long for. Say a word, and it's yours. You could spend the rest of your life swaddled and pampered, appreciated and adored, loved by the kingdom and worshipped by your prince. But that's not all you want, is it? No. I can tell now, seething within you, there's a desire for something more than just comforts. You have a darkness in your heart, a heavy stain left by the indelible touch of that wretched stepmother of yours. What cruelty has your virgin heart endured? What scars has that old witch left upon your pristine psyche? And have they healed? Can they ever? Whatever she and her wicked brood have done to you, my love, I promise you, we can return upon them tenfold. My word is law, and if you would be mine, then you would have my word to wield like a sword. Would you have them maimed, flogged, hung, crucified, stampeded, stoned, strangled? Yes, my sweet gentle thing, tell me what malice they've sown into you and let us undo it together. Drop by bloody drop. Set me upon them, and I will teach them the full extent of my wrath. And what dribbling dregs of them remain will cower and weep at the very sound of your name. I will be your knight, and all of the kingdom's strength shall be my power. All of this can be yours. The wealth, the power, the prestige, and the vindication. And in exchange, I would ask for but for one simple thing. You. All of you. Give yourself to me. Be mine to the meast fiber of your soul. Swear yourself unto me, my love. And yours will be a life without want. Give yourself unto me, and I promise you the only longing you will have will be for more of my touch, more of my adulation, more of my worship. And together, we will rule this kingdom as we see fit. A paradise for us to create together, and live in forever. The choice is yours to make. If you choose to say no, I will find you clothes, unbar the doors, and you can return to your life of injustice. If you say yes, then we will seal our vows here, now, on this very bed, and you will be mine until eternity ends. Happily ever after. What say you, my princess? What life will you choose?